Hello learners, welcome to Learn to Empower. In this particular video, we will be looking into some of the important news article of this particular day. Now, the first article that we came across is Maldives rules out research by Chinese vessel in its water. Now, there was a lot of apprehension in recent times that India also expressed apprehension that the Chinese ship is meant for doing certain kind of research is entering into the Indian Ocean region, right? When it was entering into the Indian Ocean region, there was a lot of apprehensions because initially they were asking the permission from the Sri Lankan port. Now, Sri Lanka denied the access for Chinese vessel. Now, because of the recent tension between India and Maldives, the China is moving closer towards the Maldives. Now, this particular ship, which is meant to do certain research, etc., which is not been uh, considered very... Uh, uh, you know, conducive in the Indian Ocean region asked the Maldives whether they can enter the Maldives or not. Now, Maldives said, okay. Now, this point is, there was a lot of apprehension in the world politics that how come Chinese ship is entering the Maldives because there is always a tension going between India and Maldives and taking this advantage, Chinese ship is doing certain kind of activities. India is an apprehension that this is a military ship. But what is Maldives clarified is that this is not a research vessel or they are not going to do any research research kind of thing here. They are only meant for port call. Now, what is this port call? Port call is meant that any vessel which comes to a particular place for refueling or whether they want to load and unload the cargo, etc. Now, we don't have exact clarity whether this is a military ship or a research ship, etc. Let's see how the world politics will turn in this particular way. The next important article that we see, Kehda flocking is a case of Police atrocity top court. Now the background of the case is that in uh, during 2022, the two years back, right, uh, one of the incident where the Gujarat police officers tied up certain men belonging to the Muslim community and they were started flocking. Flocking means they started beating the particular uh, person because they were doing some kind of uh, mischiefs in the particular area. Now. Is it the right? Don't you see somewhere the human right violation, the human conscience is getting into question here. Now, whether this is in the line with whether a policeman should investigate the any incident or not is the main and primary question that we need to ask ourselves. Now, the important issue that we need to remember is the one judgment that came in the year in 1996 that is DK Basu judgment. The DK Basu judgment where the top court given certain kind of directions with respect to how a person should be arrested how a person should be kept under the police custody what is the uh, you know, judicial death that is taking place how can we can reduce that custodial deaths etc right now the dk basu is uh, full name of the case is dk basu was a state of west bengal it was given in the year 1996 which over the period of time they were given certain guidelines how the investigation should be done how the arrest should be done for the particular uh, accused person right now dk basu case it might be important for the UPSC. Right? The next article that we see is right to establish minority institution contingent on the state recognition. Now try and understand Indian article, Indian constitution under article 30 gives the scope for the minorities to establish their own educational institutions. Now this is the constitutional right we speak about. Now since it is a constitutional right, it becomes a part of the fundamental right as well because it is under article 30 of the constitution. Now since constitution is given this right. Now, what the government, the central government is arguing that even though they can establish their minority education institutions, but they need to get the state recognition. Now, the primary question that we need to ask, the state recognition is done as per the laws made by the parliament, either it by the parliament or the state legislature. Now, these are the laws made by the parliament and state legislature, which is recognizing the right that has already been guaranteed under the fundamental right. Don't you see the fundamental rights made subservient or subordinate towards the law that is made by the parliament, nothing but the statute value or statute law. Is fundamental rights are supreme or the statute laws are supreme? No doubt it is the fundamental rights are supreme. But giving recognition to something which is already been guaranteed under fundamental right, we are making fundamental rights subordinate towards the statute law. Now, this is the comment that was given by CJ. Now, why this is in the news? Because the Supreme Court started hearing the case regarding the Aligarh Muslim University. Now, Aligarh Muslim University, even though it was established in the year 1875, 
around 1870 the aligarh muslim university was established now after independence this particular university was uh, uh, initially they were administering as an minor education institution but in the year 1967 this was challenged in the asis basha case where supreme court held that aligarh muslim university is a central university and there is no minority status that we can accord all the sections of the people can enter into the minority education institutions no doubt in it now this was challenged in now in the recent times to the uh, uh, the larger bench of the supreme court because there was an exemption that was done in the year 2000 in the year sorry in the year 1981 by amu amendment act in 1981 right again in january 2006 alabad high court actually struck down this provision regarding the 1981 1 law again this was challenged now in the supreme court now supreme court is hearing the larger now the primary point uh, supreme court is hearing in the larger bench now the primary point that we should remember is fundamental rights are supreme compared to the statute laws right now these are only the three articles that i found important in the particular day in the next video we will be looking into the next important articles of the on that particular day till then take care thank you